made a mistake and forgot Kleenex. <laughs> so we had a stippling going on. It was a Saturday night, and a close friend and I were sitting outside enjoying the night in each other's company. All of a sudden, darkness rolled in, and the ugliest storm I had ever experienced came out of nowhere. We were both so shocked, neither of us said a word. That darkness was not the weather, but it was my son, Brad. He opened his mouth, and me, ugly, and unwarranted things spewed out of his mouth. Yes, he was high. At that moment, I was broken. It was bad enough that he spoke to me like that, but my friend witnessed it too. Not me. I was really ashamed. How did this disease get into my home and take over my beautiful, loving son? Why did this happen to our family? We went to church. We played select sports. We paid attention. We loved. How did this happen, and now what do we do? We found support for Brett, but not for the remaining victims, the rest of our family. We underestimated. We underestimated how easy it was for our son to try drugs. We underestimated that Brett would just say no. Who would have guessed? Mostly, we underestimated the pull that these drugs had on him and how quickly they became an addiction. Today, many of you received a little bad of goodies. How many try them? Anybody try them? This is an example of how easy it is to get drugs in our kids' hands. You didn't know the person who gave it to you, but yet you took it. You trusted them. They were at the same event that you were at. What if we were at a party? When somebody tries drugs basically the first time, usually it's a complimentary thing. Here, try this. It'll be fun. You'll like it. If you like it, there's more. You know where to find it. If you don't, it's not a real big thing. Easy. Just easy. That's how easy it is for our kids. Today, we educate families who find themselves in the middle of an ugly storm. It is not their loved one, but the drugs talking. Mean, self-absorbing drug talk. Sickness, drug use, abuse, and addiction. No reason to be ashamed, we've learned that. It is just proof that drugs change people. Proof that we need to prepare for a battle that we pray we will never have to fight. We must be prepared. Awareness is more powerful than ignorance. When Brett died, we were just broken, still are. We miss our son. But I vow that no family has to go through the storm by themselves. WTF will provide families whatever they need. Support, education, a shoulder to cry on, resources. We have built a WTF family and stand shoulder to shoulder, often holding others up until they can stand on their own. I continue to think I continue to think of our five-year goals, and I know the WTF chapters have to be all over the United States. People across the nation need support and guidance without judgment. The key word there is without judgment. We're working towards that. When I think of our 10-year goals, that's to take down every single chapter because they're not needed. We've gotten past the why me, or how me, or not me. We've educated. We've gotten parents and people out of denial. Our families have solid plans. They're educated about the drugs in their community. Youth are being drug tested, and then giving them accountability to themselves and to their families. Families are prepared. Everyone here is already heading in the right direction. Everybody is here. You are already making a difference within our community. 
I would like to introduce our media team from U Plus Media. Could you guys stand up? Uh, with an idea. They embraced it, they supported it, and they built it. I'm speaking for each and every person in this documentary when I say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making each of us feel safe, comfortable, and mostly for not feeling judged. Thank you. I know we gave you way more than you thought. <laughs> I'd like to give an immense thanks to Jeff Grace for all the hard work and details that he put into this project. He interviewed each person with warmth, understanding, and compassion. He challenged me way too often and kept me on my toes and continues to help me grow. Thank you, my friend. Tiana, thank you for sliding under the radar. You just shine. I stated before that we are a WTF family. These are people who step up, show up, support, volunteer, pray together, laugh together, and sometimes cry together. They are instrumental in every single thing that we do. Without our family, we would all still isolate and quietly suffer in our own pain. I would like to thank Flowermont High School for providing us this venue to show this documentary. WTF is very lucky to have the support of LISD, the towns of Flowermount, Highland Village, Louisville, and Double Oak. Faith Lutheran Church has also been very generous in providing a space for us to have our Monday yoga and Tuesday evening meetings, which are from 7 to 8 30. We are also very blessed to have a great board of directors that constantly brainstorm ideas to help others. Huge thanks to all the volunteers that pulled this together today. Um, just remember what we put up, we have to kind of undo, flip it around and get out as quick as we can. I would also like to thank Nestle's for the generous donation of the bottled water. I would like to share these last thoughts with you. I am very proud of this documentary. It was difficult, extremely emotional, and very challenging for all of us. We could not have done any of it if it wasn't for the eight brave people that shared their storms, their sunshine, their fears, and their faults with each of you so that you know never, never to believe not me. They share so others learn. They are a blessing to not only me, but to every single person that views this video. Would 